we're done, but not exactly. Hey guys, it's Fiscon here with a video on how to download Steam Workshop mods. I made one earlier that I'm going to leave up just in case the website comes up, but I'll put a note in there that it doesn't work and bring you to this video. And this one's a little more complicated, but uh, I don't foresee it coming down anytime soon. So the first step is we got to download some software. It's called Steam CMD. So you're just going to paste the link that I have in the description. It'll bring you right here. If you, it brings you to the top, just scroll down a little. It's the first one, Windows, right here. And our magic link is right here. Download it, open the zip, put it in a file. You're going to extract it to a folder, excuse me, anywhere. I put it on my desktop just for ease of access. Once you've done that, you don't need the zip anymore. Go ahead and open up your folder you named, whatever. Double click your Steam command and it's going to install a bunch of stuff. And it'll look quite familiar to those of you who actually still have Steam. Just give it a second, it shouldn't take too long. All right. And as long as everything went just like how you saw it, we're good to go. You're gonna type in login anonymous. And it's gonna any second now. All right. There we go. We're in. So the next step, you need to look up what's called an app ID. And you do that by going to a website called steamdb.info. Once you get there, it's just a Steam database of all their games. You're going to go to the search one. You're going to type in Kenshi. Search. Or whatever game you're doing this for. You're going to look for app type game. Make sure it's your game. You're going to take out this ID. You're going to write it down somewhere because we're going to keep that. So in our case, it's 233860. I got that on the notepad to the side of me. Now, the next step is to find the workshop ID of the item you want to download. So in this case, you just go to the workshop, scroll through, find what you want, uh, recruit limit, tight, we want that. And uh, you're on the website, you're on the page, and you look up here and there's this nice set of numbers. ID equals a bunch of numbers. It'll be different for each mod. That's what you're going to find. You're going to put that in your notes on the side. And then we're going to go back to this command prompt. Okay. And you're going to type in workshop download item. And then you put in the first number, which is the app ID, which represents the game, and the second number, which represents the mod of the game. Then you hit enter. We're done. But not exactly. Now the second step is to actually go get the mod. So wherever you put that folder that you named whatever you want, you're going to go in there and you're going to go to Steam Apps, Workshop, Content, and then you'll see the app ID for the game and then you'll see the mod ID. Now just like before, we're going to open up Kenchi, we're going to go into our mods folder, and then we're going to make a new folder and name it after the mod file. In this case, 256 squad limit enter and then exactly like before we're going to copy this and place it in there and you're done just load it up uh, enabled in the mod section start your game you should be set if there's any problems let me know in the description uh, before you go anywhere just want to give a shout out to system admin he's the one who presented the solution to our problem here i uh, found it on reddit after doing some research uh, definitely seems to be a solid solution as this was submitted a year ago and has been archived so big shout out to system admin thanks man appreciate it Dance with me one more time